Hello everyone, Dunja Trautmann from the creative team here. Today I have Christmas cards for you. Well, I will show you this layered effect on stamped sentiments with the warm embossing powders. Now I use my stamping platform and it is important to stamp always on the same place. If it's slightly offset it can get messy and in the example you can see a little bit that the paper in the video has uh, moved a bit so you will see that later. The stamp is from my favorite things and perfect for quick and easy Christmas cards. For the embossing I use white paper, use the anti-static powder tool like every time and the wow embossing pad. And then I use the metallic gold rich pale super fine embossing powder, sprinkle it on a stem and try to work clean. And um, I will use a fine brush to remove the loose powder and then I heat it up with the heat tool. When the first step is done, I repeat it. Um, I use the powder tool again on the stamped image, on the stamped sentiment. And uh, one more word about the embossing pad. It is super soaked, super juicy. Let me say, yeah, let me say juicy. So you are not under time pressure when you are using it. It dries slower and the powder adheres much better. So stamp the text again and use the same embossing powder, the gold one. And we will repeat this step about three to five times, depending on how raised you want the effect. This is the third time I do it the same way and now you can see that it is a bit offset because the paper moved a bit in my stamping tool but no worries it doesn't matter for me it doesn't matter um, it looks a bit like sparkling so it is okay for me now I use my circle dies and cut out these vector holes uh, with my Gemini Junior. I have already cut the base of the card and the design paper. Uh, it is by Teresa Collins, I think. Already several years old, but so simple and elegant. I like it. Uh, I have to cut out another circle, this time from the design paper. And then I matted it with the first cutout and uh, the leather in deck the holes. Now I take the adhesive tape runner and then I will stick all the parts together.
on the back of the circle I uh, glued some mount tape it's a uh, foam tape and um, yes I now use I have several sequin sets in my stash and um, I put out some golden and red ones and I will glue them on my card using the glossy accent by Ranger I think it's the best glue for this it um, dries clear and that's perfect so that's it I hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, feel free to leave the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new creations see you soon again and have a great creative and colorful day bye bye